Hello, everybody. Where am I? There I am. So this morning, I'm going to show everybody how to install Drupal Commons, or Acquia Commons, for that matter, into Acquia Dev Desktop. Now, there's a couple little tricky things you have to do with um, memory settings, because Commons is uh, has a lot of stuff going on in it. So that's going to be part of what we're doing here. But it shouldn't take too long. So here we go. Let's get rid of me. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to acquia.com slash downloads and download Drupal Commons 6.x-2.2 or the latest version. As of right now, there's no Drupal 7 version, so we're going to have to work with the Drupal 6 version. Now, I've already downloaded it, um, but what you would do is just click the download and it'll go into your downloads directory. So moving to my downloads directory, you end up with something like this. Uncompress it. If you're on Windows, you might need um, a different, uh, you know, you might need a extraction program other than the default Windows one um, to handle the tar.gz, but there's plenty of free and open source ones available. And once it's extracted, we end up with a commons-6.x-2.2 directory. I like to get rid of the version number and just keep things nice and clean commons all right so after it's all extracted you want to go ahead and you want to put it in your sites directory so this is the same place where aquia drupal live lives so as you can see i've got a lot of sites in my sites directory but now we have aquia drupal and commons kind of at the same level so once that's done we're done with the manual part of the process, more or less. We can get rid of that, and we need to move to our Acquia Dev Desktop control panel. Now, this is where the tricky stuff comes in, because we actually have to change a couple of memory settings in order to get commons to install and run cleanly. So we're going to click on Settings, and then Config. And both of our, of our changes are in the php.ini file. So you just come over here, and you click Edit. So the php.ini file is just a bunch of configuration settings for PHP. It tells it all kinds of different things that are turned on, how much memory to use, how to format things. <clears throat> so we're going to look for um, the memory limit variable. So if we come down to the search and we go memory underscore limit and hit next, we pop up to it right away. So by default, it should be set to 128 megabytes. We're going to double that. We're just going to do 256 megabytes. So that's the first little change we have to make. The next little change, let me move this up here so it's closer, is we're going to search for something called apc.shm. And find that. And it's going to be in the section called APC. And APC is a PHP... Um, module that actually can speed up PHP. I don't want to get into the details of it, um, but it's in Acquia Dev Desktop by default. And we need to change this SHM size variable from 32, again, we're going to double it to 64. And once that's done, we come up and we hit Save, and then we can close it. And then we come back to our Acquia Dev Desktop, and click OK. And I always like to start and stop the dev desktop whenever I make any configuration changes. So now that that's done, it's time to import our new common site. So we go down to our list of sites and click on More. Then click Import. And then we have to point to our directory that we added to our sites directory. So we're going to point to our commons directory. So select commons and hit choose. Um, we don't have an existing database file, so we're going to create a new one. And we'll just call it commons. And it is going to be on our local host. And let's just call it commons as well. So that this is the URL which we're going to access the site through our web browser. commons.localhost colon 8082. When you're done with that, click import. And this first step goes pretty fast, and we end up here on an installation page for Drupal. Now, if we select this and, and continue, 
we're just going to install regular old Drupal 6. But we want to install Commons, which is a whole bunch of stuff built on top of Drupal 6. So select that, save and continue. And Drupal will think about it for a minute. And install the base Drupal core tables. So once that's done, we get to a configuration page not unlike installing a regular Drupal site. So we're going to call our site Commons. I'm going to use an example.com email address since this is going to be on YouTube. Username, password, password, whatever you want. You know, this is where you set the admin password and the admin username. Set your time zone. I'm in Florida, so I'm going to choose uh, the New York Eastern Time. And I like to turn this off since it's just a local site. I don't want to be bothered with the notifications right now. Save and continue. So now this next step is um, specific to Drupal Commons. These are all of the various features of Drupal Commons that we can either turn on or off. This is all stuff that's pre-built into Drupal Commons. So you can go through here and turn them on and off. But I think for the first time, just leave them all on. That way you can play with them. And hit continue. Commons ships with three default themes. So you can choose any of the three. I'm just going to stick with the, with the default. Now this step is the longest. So we might take a quick break and come back when it's done. Okay, it's all done. That only took about a minute and a half, I think. So while it's finishing up, we can just wait a little bit more. There you go, it's done. Visit your new site. I'm going to click on this, and you'll see we have a complete installation of Commons along with some sample data. So that's it. That's how you get Commons up and running on Acquia Dev Desktop. Thanks for watching.